Welcome to Madden 25. Hey, Madden fans, welcome back to Gridiron Notes, your home for news and updates for Madden NFL 25. Our team will be here sharing information all summer long as we gear up for the worldwide launch on August 16th. What's good, YouTube? Cody here. Just wanted to break down this little blog post uh, on the Gridiron Notes. This is dropping on June 14th, 2024. Hey, real quick, just a little, um, just a little kind of side swipe here. But uh, June 13th, the beta was scheduled to launch. It did not launch as scheduled. Here we are on June 14th. We have new information, nothing to do with the beta whatsoever. Kind of frustrating. Did a video about this yesterday. Hopefully the beta drops today, and hopefully we'll be able to drop some content that's just going to be talking about Madden 25 and what you can expect so that you can begin preparing for Madden 25 today. Um, if you guys didn't know, I post three videos a day on YouTube every single day trying to help people become better at Madden. I've been posting Madden content for the last 13 years and I've been helping people get better. So if you guys want to get better at the game, if you want to know what's going to be good in Madden 25, hit the subscribe button down below. It's uh, free and just allows you to know whenever we, new, when, whenever we drop new content. Okay, so today we are covering the high-level features in Madden 25. Before we get into specifics, our team wanted to share the vision for the game this year. The vision for the game is to look, feel, and sound different. For the first time, you fired up at the press start screen to the menus to the new commentary and inside the game from the NFL draft all the way to the Super Bowl trophy presentation. This was the commitment from the team. We can't wait to share with you more in the future deep dives. I do think that this is going to be interesting how they do this. They kind of say similar stuff like this. They want to try to make it as realistic as possible. With college football dropping, I do anticipate that there's going to be uh, a little bit more of like realism, more – uh, of an environment, so to speak, or an experience from playing the game. So that's kind of a cool cool change. I think that'd be good. Uh, gameplay here at T Tiberian Studio. This is what I care the most about. We know what's most important to players, and that is a deep, authentic experience delivering control on the sticks. Honestly, kind of a little side note, I do think Madden does do – if you look at all the sports games, Madden does provide – some of this some of this really cool stuff like you can hot route you can change your plays you can um, there's a lot of different playbooks there's a lot of ways to have control on the sticks and so hopefully they continue to double down on that because that is what makes madden madden in my opinion uh signature styles new mechanics with ball carriers i did hear i did see civil uh post something on his twitter about this um if you, if you don't know who civil is another madden content creator and uh, his, his uh, Twitter will be linked in the description of this. He did a deep dive, kind of breaking down. I think he actually played the game early, and so he kind of broke down kind of some of his, his experiences with that. But the new mechanics with ball carriers, I did see something about him on uh, Twitter saying that basically there's like more, more customizable ball carrier moves, more of a skill gap in being able to do ball carrier moves. There's also a significant skill gap probably going to be in hit sticking, which will be interesting. That's actually really cool because the hit stick hasn't really been that powerful in Madden for a really long time. So that'd be good having that back. Uh, catching and pre-play. Uh, the pre-play stuff is really cool. So Sybil also said that kind of like NCAA, you could do the custom route stems. So the custom route stems essentially means you can make a route break at a bunch of different points. So like a corner route could be a five-yard corner, a 10-yard corner, a 15-yard corner, 20-yard corner. That's really cool. It's just going to add a lot of uh, customization to the game. So super excited for that, especially. It's going to really impact ebooks. It's going to really impact all that other stuff that we do uh, on the channel. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, focus on football fundamentals within blocking playbooks and more. Players will have more control than ever before in Madden 25. Okay, so they're not going to give us a lot of specifics here. So I'm going to cover this, and then we'll actually pull up Civil's tweet and uh, kind of talk through that. I was hoping they'd give us a little bit more of a deep dive, but they really didn't. Uh, in Boom Tech, in Madden 23, the team introduced the Field Sense animation branching system. In Madden 23, the most effective way to move the ball was to throw uh, the ball at a covered defender and aggressive catch it. So clearly Field Sense was a great, great addition to the game. Uh, to deliver on control rather than outcomes that feel more scripted or predetermined. This year, in Madden 25, that vision is being accelerated with the introduce, introduction of Boom Tech, our next gameplay innovation that has been over two years in the making. Cool. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it's fun. Uh, hopefully it, it changes the animations and, and makes the animation. I will say this year, uh, Madden 24, I actually really liked the animations. There was a lot. I feel like there was a I, I feel like it was a pretty pretty good year in terms of animations. That being said, 
the thing that I did want to say about this, it is kind of funny that they call it something different every year. Like it was Field Sense back in Madden 23. Now it's Boom Tech. Like they, they literally call it something different every year. But essentially it's innovating within the area of animations. Physics-based tackling. I think this is going to be a big deal. Feel realistic control with every tackle so you can't cut loose and attack the ball with powerful hit sticks. Or so you can cut loose and attack the ball with powerful hit sticks, cut sticks, trucks, dives, and stiff arms. The new data-driven physics system considers timing. That's what I heard uh, from Sybil, that it, the timing of the hit stick is going to matter. Uh, momentum, weight, speed, strength, and player ratings to inform one-on-one -on -one ball carrier impact. The bottom line, guys, because McCaffrey's on the cover, um, it could potentially be, and just some of the changes that they made towards the end of Madden 24, it could be a run-heavy year. I really hope it's not. Um, Madden 20, in some ways, was the best Madden ever, and, and also in some ways was the worst Madden ever. It was probably one of the most popular Maddens ever, but the the run game was absolutely insane in that. But it does look like there's going to be some skill gap to the timing of the hit stick, to the timing of the juke, to the timing of the spin, which is cool. Uh, reloaded hit stick, the, the one the only, the legendary hit stick, has been refreshed, reloaded, and reimagined to celebrate 20 years as Madden as a Madden feature. Okay, so it's going to be a big hit stick here. It's what it seems like here. Bring power in every phase of the game, which is cool. Like that, That's something to me that does make Madden like fun. Uh, Timing-based mechanic that provides harder hitting control determined by the angle of impact, stick skill, and accuracy for cut sticks, big hits, and trucks. That's cool. I'm actually excited about that. Because um, the last couple of years, it's basically just been try to strip them, you know, run around, hold RB. Now we can get back to hit sticking, which I actually like that. Run the rock with confidence and command. A new ball carrier balance and recovery system determines a specific boom tech branching animation based on the quality of the hit stick and the rate of the hit and the ratings of your players involved. Get the control you need to counter the hit stick, break the tackle, and recover your balance. Cool. Uh, hopefully, run is not overpowered. Foundational football core gameplay is back with the newest iteration of Field Sense. Oh, there it is again, Field Sense. Get increased control across the key areas, including innovative passing. I don't know what they mean by that. Uh, catching, blocking, coverage. I heard blocking is different, which will be interesting. I heard there's more control over blocking, which, which also will be interesting. New playbooks capture the game's most inventive and explosive plays. I heard, and I think there was like a video on Twitter that I saw, that you can actually do like the Miami Dolphins where they motion, they basically like glitch, they use literally glitch motions in real life. And it allows people like Tyree Kill to basically get free releases. And then he's running like super fast on the field. This will be interesting. The thing I really hope, honestly, this is a super underrated like wish or dream or hope for Madden 25. I really hope that they don't take base align away because college football literally took base align out of the game. The reason that that's a problem, it's going to be a problem with these motion snaps. Base align has always been the counter to glitchy motion snaps. If base align is not in this game and you can do some of these motion snaps, it's going to be a big motion snap year. Now, on the contrary to that, one of the things that I do think is actually cool about the motion snaps I think the motion snaps will allow you to have more creativity on the offensive side of the ball. It will allow you to run more spread out formations where you can same side motion snap. You can, you can kind of take advantage of that. I would love to see motion snapping be a big deal. Since they've moved to next gen Madden, motion snapping has been absolutely terrible. If your receiver's not on the slant and in Madden 24, they decided that every slant route will stop at the middle of the field. Again, another small little wish list for Madden 24. Please don't make slants stop in the middle of the field against man coverage. Let them continue running their route like it shows on the screen. I think that will help the game move forward. New playbooks capture the game's most inventive and explosive plays. Authentic pre-snap and post-play animations deliver a whole new level of authenticity and immersion, while all new intelligent ball carrier mechanics provide explosive movement and more control between downs. All right, cool. And I think they are going to be deep diving into gameplay, and we'll do another video on that as well. NFL Immersion franchise. I don't really talk much about franchise on the channel. Some cool stuff here. Crossplay and franchise will launch. That's a big deal. Need to have that. Um, presentation. New broadcast teams and commentary. I'm actually excited for that. Uh, common, oh, commentary teams. 
Was this it? Play by play never sounded so. No, no, we don't want. I don't want to talk about that. There was something else that I was going to talk about. Basically, like you can create your own team again, which it's funny because that was a feature that we used to have and then we didn't have anymore. Um, anyway, ultimate team. Winning matters more than ever. Let's let's hope that's true. Let's hope that's true. The reason why I hope that is true is because. It should. <laughs> it should. Um, with the new head-to-head -head ranked mode, only wins can improve your ranking. Cool. Earning rank points will remove you up or down. This is a big deal. This has been a problem in Madden for the last three, I think since they went to next gen, but I know for sure the last two years. Basically, if you were in the legend division, uh, you could play someone in the rookie division if it wasn't in your Super Bowl, pretty much. And so you would have the best players in the world playing some of the worst players in the world, and it just was basically pointless. I want to see like them reward you for playing their game. You want people to play your game, reward people for playing your game and for getting better at your game. I would like to see that. So hopefully this is true. Hopefully winning does matter more than ever. Um, with more seasons than ever in Madden 25, players will never have to wait long for new content. I like that. That's cool. That it's this year was I thought pretty decent for. I actually thought Madden twenty four was pretty good for constantly having new content and seasonal. They really did a good job of like okay, we're in the kickoff phase, or then we're we're in the most feared phase, zero chill, which they do that every year. But I thought they did a really good job of like pairing that up with their tournaments, like the harvest tournament, the zero chill tournament, the um, playoffs tournament. I thought that was actually a really good change for the MCS. Even after the Super Bowl, Ultimate Team will still have a full slate of content. Cool. That's cool. This is interesting. Six-on-six -six live events will bring small-sided football into Madden. For the first time ever, players can take their Ultimate Team squad. Oh, okay, so you can play with your team in a six-on-six -six environment. There needs to be a tournament, like a summer, a summer MCS or a summer tournament that has six-on-six. That needs to happen. If that happens, people will play this mode and they will love it. I think that's actually really cool. And I, I don't think squads was very fun. Like, And we saw this back in Madden 22, or no, Madden 21, when they did the Ultimate Madden Bowl. And they did um, they did the, the, the Madden Bowl. And a lot of the games were basically like, they, they were trying to do like a squads format where it was three professional Madden players on one squad and three professional Madden players on the other squad. And the problem with that, and they were, but they were playing like a 11 on 11. The problem that ended up happening with that was basically, it, it means that there's three user defenders on the field and it's almost impossible to pass against that. So everybody just ran the ball six on six live events, I think would be so much cooler because if I'm reading this correctly, you're in control of all six of those players. And like, it, it, it's kind of like the, um, I'm trying to think this way. Arena football, the Arena League. That's what that seemed like. That's fun. I played Arena football like back in the early 2000s on a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1. It was an awesome game. If that's what this means, I'll probably play that. And I actually think that could be a lot of fun. And there needs to be a tournament on that format. If there's a tournament on that format, people will play that format. And that mode will become awesome. I, I really think that's a good change. I'm actually really excited about that. Online head-to-head. -head. Climb redesign leaderboards. We needed that. By playing competitive seasons, mastering the new rank structure, progress through divisions, only the best of the best will call, qualify for the top 100. So the last several years, another thing that was really problematic, I thought about the top 100, was the way you got into top 100 was by playing more games. You could lose those games, but if you had more, it was basically like games played was really the thing. It just needs to be win-loss record. So I do hope that this, that was honestly one of the biggest changes we need in Ultimate. There's a lot of other changes. Like we need Weekend League to be Weekend League again. There's a lot of other changes. But hopefully the biggest change that needed to happen was the skill-based matchmaking needed to have. Like that, that needed to be there. So... Hopefully that happened. Uh, I'm going to go grab uh, Civil's tweet, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so over here on Twitter, I've been doing daily tips on Twitter for the summer. I'm going to do that all the way through Madden 25, College Football 25, on my uh, Twitter profile. If you want to follow me, I'll put the link in the description. Also, if you want to follow Mr. Civ, at Mr. Civ, Mr. Civ is farming out here. He is just dominating life as a content creator. 
and uh, played Madden 25 early two weeks ago. So let's take a look at what his thoughts are. A huge goal of EA this year is to reward people for well-timed hit sticks, dot, 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 but punish them for bad ones. Seems pretty much what we were talking about with the gameplay. It does seem like there is going to be a risk-reward factor to hit sticks, which is great for the game. There needs to be punishment if you don't time it properly. That's the whole point of the hit sticks. I actually really like that. This game shares some features with College Football 25, but gameplay feels drastically different between the two. That is a good thing. That is a really, really, really important and good thing. College Football 25 and Madden 25 need to be two different games. That is super important. If you guys um, didn't know, our school community is going to have full offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden 25 and College Football 25, and we're going to actually be starting a College Football 25 YouTube channel that I will let you know more about as we get closer to the College Football 25 release date. But gameplay, it, it, they're two different games. So the way that I'm approaching it from a content creator perspective is we're going to treat them like two different games, and we're going to create full content, full, full uh, year of content for both games individually of themselves. The membership is only $10 a month, and it's going to cover both of them. The reason I'm doing that is I just thought, you know, College Football 25 and Madden 25, you can get both for the price of one. Why would you not sign up for that? You can actually join that school community at the link in the description as well. They nerfed the juke move from Madden 24. Seem, and they normally do that. Like Madden, 20, Madden 23, I can't remember what the – it might have been the juke in Madden 23. I can't really remember what the ball carrier move was, the jurtle. Um, Madden 22, it was the spin move. Madden 23, you, the spin move wasn't that good. Madden 24, the juke move's really good. Madden 25, juke move not going to be so good. Probably going to be something else. He says they've added skill, uh, they've added skill move branching that is supposed to add skill gap in ball carry movement. I want to highlight this word. When you are reading these posts, little word to the wise, as someone that's been doing this for 13 years, Every year when they fly people out and they play the game early, there are certain things they can talk about and there are certain things they cannot talk about. There is also certain angles that I think they, they need to take or they, they're, they're supposed to be positive about the game. The reason I'm saying that is that is supposed to add skill gap. So more than likely what he's saying between lines, and I could be reading too much into it, is that this might not be a great change, but it might be. I don't know. I'm not him. His post says that. I'm just saying it's interesting that he said that is supposed to add skill gap. Okay. Should there be skill gap in ball carry movement? 100%. And he says right here, if it works and can result in highlight plays like how the juke move does now, major W. If not, then meh. Okay. So he's not, he's obviously not just saying what EA wants him to say. Right? This is some of his thoughts in this post, but there are also things he can talk about and things he cannot talk about okay uh, custom stems are in madden 25 this is awesome meaning you can take an out route and make him cut at five yards eight yards interesting 15 yards you get the idea i love that that is awesome i'm hoping the thing that is also that is uh in that custom stems thing is with college football 25 what it sounds like is the hot route mass basically like and this has been needed to happen in Madden forever. Hot Route Master shouldn't be an ability. Everybody should just have it. The reason why everybody should just have Hot Route Master, it makes the game so much more replayable. It increases the likelihood that people will try new formations because they don't have to rely on bunch or trips to have good routes. So custom stems, and you've seen this in the Madden offseason, when everybody has a Hot Route Master, um, they're running things like tray offset. They're running things like split offset. They're, I think Silver runs split offset, pistol bunch tied in. You start to see all of, the, uh, all of these different formations come into uh, focus whenever Hot Route Master is available. So I, I'm, I'm super excited for this. I'm actually probably most excited for the custom stems thing and for this right here. I'm really hoping that this works and this is a good change for the game. Motion snapping felt way better and smoother than it does in 24. So the biggest problem with motion snapping on next gen is due to the movement that the game is based on when they when you snap somebody in motion, they don't um so like 
if you watch the Dolphins play, when they motion Tyreek Hill and they snap him in motion, he's basically running full speed. When they do the same thing in Madden, that's what you want to accomplish. But it literally causes them to almost be delayed in a negative sense of that word. So the drags, not if you do a motion snap drag to beat press man, it doesn't run right and it doesn't actually ultimately win. Or if you do a motion snap streak, the streak runs super slow and now it can't be a good clear out. If motion snapping is back, that's going to be a good change because, again, it's going to increase the – a creativity level. You're going to be able to do things that you currently cannot do, right? This is one of the worst changes that happened on next gen Madden 21 motion snapping after they did patch the man's man coverage stuff. Motion snapping was great. Madden 20. This is why U trips is so good because the motion snapping element of the formation, when you take motion snapping and do to it, what you've done on next gen Madden, it makes good formations worse and it keeps, again, that same meta of bunch trips, okay? Didn't get a chance to deep dive all of the playbooks. That's unfortunate. I wish he would have been able to do that because every single year, one of the most important things that needs to change and needs to improve is playbooks. But there's a lot of new plays and formations, so hopefully that's good. Um, like, like for, It was really cool this year, and I know bunch was still technically, quote-unquote, the meta, but bunch strong offset, bunch strong nasty. That was cool. They added two formations to the game. Those were the two most ran formations in the game. That was awesome. New ranked mode in Mutt. Need to see how this bad boy plays out. Okay, so this is what he was saying here. He's not saying it's bad. He's just saying he needs to see how it plays out. But, and this is what I, I would agree with him, sounded awesome. Sounded awesome. Focusing on players advancing through tiers and recognizing them as top 100. Really nice. Three commentary teams. That's cool. Uh, revamped blocking system. This is a big one. I'm kind of curious to see how this plays out, but revamped blocking system where you can see, you can actually see who your blockers are going to pick up. Similar to college football. This should have a huge impact on meta blitzes. 100%. That'll be interesting to see how that works. Uh, they added team builder and those teams can be used in online franchises. And I think Eric Rayweather was talking about this too. I think that's a great change. That needs that needs to be there. That's that's great. So, uh, so all in all, hard not to be excited about Madden 25 when you're still playing Madden 24 because the beta's not out yet. But uh, wanted to do a little video here breaking down some of this stuff. As we get more information, I will do more videos. And if you guys want to get some of my free tips and stuff, it's on the channel. You can sub to the channel or you can check out my Twitter page. And if you want to get all of our eBooks for Madden 25 and college football, cool part is if you sign up now, you also get everything we did in Madden 24. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below. And if you want to check out Siv, he's always posting stuff on Twitter. He's a great follow on Twitter if you're uh, looking to get better at Madden. I'll drop his link in the description down below as well. Thanks for watching.